Hello viewers, this Dao Too Fast here. In today's video I will be testing and reviewing a cell phone booster from the company HiBoost. Now HiBoost offer many different cell phone booster devices that you can use for residential, business, and even vehicles. The one that I'll be testing today is their HiBoost 10K Plus. Now the installation will require you to run coaxial cable in your home. So there's some planning you have to do ahead of time before you install this device. I'll go over the things you need to know to have a successful install and I'll also show you a comparison test of a speed with and without this device. Let's get started. Right here is the HiBoost 10K Plus Pro cell phone booster. I'm going to turn this box over. This diagram will give you an idea how this works. On the outside, there's a cell tower from your service provider. The signal from the tower will be received by the outdoor antenna. This signal will go to the booster amplifier. The amplify signal from this device will be sent to the indoor antenna. This antenna will then send the signal throughout your house. Now with this 10K Plus Pro, it's compatible with 2G, 3G, 4G LTE, and 5G cell service. So let's open this up. Right here is the user manual. This is the high boost amplifier. This is the indoor antenna. Power cable. The outdoor antenna. Mounting hardware. And the antenna bracket. Here are the coaxial cables for connecting the antenna. And right here is a power adapter. And here's a look at everything you get with this high boost device. On the left side right here is the indoor antenna. There's a coaxial cable to connect the indoor antenna to the amplifier. You have the power supply for the amplifier. On the right side you have the outdoor antenna. These are the coaxial cables to connect from the amplifier to the outdoor antenna. Now one of the cable is this very thin coaxial cable and this will allow you to run this through a window opening. So you'll be connecting this cable between these two coaxial cables you see right here. It also comes with a bracket to mount this onto a pole. Now it does not come with a pole, so if you want to do that you will have to provide your own. Now before you begin the installation, you need to find the nearest cell tower from your service provider. And a good website you can use is cellmapper.net. Now on my computer I noticed the map didn't load up properly using Chrome, but it did work with Firefox browser. Here you can select your cell phone carrier and your location and it will map out all the cell towers in your area. Using this information, you will be able to figure out where to point your outdoor antenna to receive the cellular signal. Remove the two Phillips screws on the back of the antenna. Slide the antenna into the big hole. Then you need to reinstall the two Phillips screw on the back. Now install this U-shaped bolt with a clamp onto the bracket. Now you can mount this onto an external pole. Now this booster does not come with a pole so you do have to purchase your own. There's some short poles you can get on Amazon that you can mount onto the side of your house. I'll include those links below. When you're installing this antenna, pay attention to this sticker here. It's pointing up so the antenna needs to be in this position. Also this antenna is directional. So you need to point this antenna towards the tower. Now they've also included this sealant tape that you see right here. And make sure when you're installing this, you cut a piece off and wrap this around each connection that you have so keep the water out. I'm here at the back of my house and let me show you where the T-Mobile cell phone tower is located. If I pan the camera around in this northwest direction, the tower is about a mile away. And as you can see, there's a hill right here along with another subdivision behind me. So even though that tower is only one mile away, I do not have a direct line of sight to that tower. And that's why I only get two to three bars at my home. So to install the outdoor antenna, I will need to point that antenna in this direction here towards a cell tower. So right here is a temporary setup I have with the outdoor antenna, just to see how well it works with the antenna pointing in the northwest direction. From here, I ran the coaxial cable up to the second floor where I have the high boost amplifier. Here's a look at that cable through the window. Now connect this cable that runs inside the house. Right here is the amplifier booster. And now I can connect the antenna cables to this box. With the outdoor antenna cable, I'll connect this to the outdoor port. 
Right here is the indoor antenna cable. The indoor antenna is installed on the second floor of my house. Now you do need a minimum of 30 feet distance between the outdoor antenna and the indoor antenna. And this antenna is facing opposite direction to the outdoor antenna. That's the way you want it. If you face this antenna in the same direction as the outdoor antenna, that's when you're going to get that loopback oscillation. And the ISO LED on the booster will flash letting you know there is loopback. Now connect the power supply to the DC input. Here's a close-up look at the display panel. On the left you have several LED indicators. This first one here is the alarm LED. This light is for the RF power status from the tower. If it's a solid green like you see right here, then it's below the full output power from the tower. If it's slowly flashing, this indicates full output power from the tower. If it flashes quickly, then the output power from the tower is too high. And if you see a flashing red light, then it means it's getting excessive download signal from the tower and the booster will automatically shut off. Next one down is the power LED. Green is normal, and if there's no power, they'll be off. This one here is ISO LED. If it's flashing slowly, then there's a slight loop back or self oscillation. And if it flashes red, then the booster will automatically be shutting down. If I press the set button right here, the backlight on the LCD display will illuminate. On this display, it will show you the four different bands this booster supports, and it will also show you the power for the uplink and downlink in decibels. The column on the right will show you the downlink output power in dBm. I'll bring up a chart showing you the different bands and what frequency it covers. Now at my home, my T-Mobile service is using band 66. Band 66 is an extension of band 4. That's on 1700 megahertz uplink and 2100 megahertz for the downlink. So for me, I'll be focusing on the power level of AWS 2100. Now depending where you are and which cellular carrier you use, you could use any one of these four bands here. So here my uplink is 68 dB. My downlink is 68 dB also and the output power is 3 dBm. On the bottom of the display you have the ALC which is the automatic level control or automatic gain control so the booster will automatically adjust the gain accordingly and the maximum gain this box can apply to the signal is 65 dB. Now keep in mind FCC does limit how much gain this box can actually output so depending on where you live and how you aim your outdoor antenna you need to have a relatively good signal coming in and then this box can amplify that signal so your phone can have better connectivity and give you better uplink and downlink speed. Now there is a mobile app you can install on your phone and it will connect to this high boost box. And this app is called Signal Supervisor App. After you install it, you'll need to register for an account and then select Add Device to add this box to the app. I've done that here already. Select it. And right here is the RF performance gauge for all four bands. The one I'm using right now is AWS 2100 and this will show you the output power. Now if you select this icon at the top here, here are the four bands. I'll select AWS 2100 here you see the RF status is on, RF switch is on, and the downlink output power is 2 dBm. Now the MGC or manual gain control is off, so 0 dB, and the gain is right now set to automatic, so 68 dB. Now if you want, you can use this app to help tweak your outdoor antenna, so if you're aiming it slightly, you can see if the output power will increase or decrease. So at this time, everything's installed and set up. I installed a free app called Network Cell Info Lite on my phone, and I'll run some comparison tests. And right now the high boost amplifier is turned off. So my cell phone is only connected to a T-Mobile tower, which has a weak signal. The power level right now is minus 107 dBm. Let's do a speed test. The download speed is 167 megabit per second and the upload speed is about 1.4 megabit per second. Now go turn on the high boost amplifier. As you saw the power level increased to minus 87 dBm. That's a 20 dB increase in power level. With the signal boosted now do a speed test. Now my download speed is 254 megabit per second and the upload speed has increased significantly to 22 megabit per second. So as you saw with the current setup I have, 
the download speed went from 167 megabit per second to 254 megabit per second, and the upload speed went from 1.4 megabit per second to 21.9 megabit per second. So the improvement is quite significant. When I play some video on YouTube, there's no buffering or any pausing. The video plays without any problems, even if I skip around in the video. Now a cell phone booster device like this can help increase the signal at your home or your business, but there are a lot of variables involved when it comes to getting a positive result. Depending on your location, the terrain around your area, how far that cell tower is from you, and how strong that signal you are receiving, all those things can affect how much improvement you get with this booster. Before you buy this device, take some time to do your research and plan ahead on how you want to install this. You can use the Cell Mapper Net website to find your nearest cell tower. And with that information, you can also install the Network Cell Info Lite app on your mobile device and drive around in your area to confirm the frequency band you're receiving on your mobile device. To learn more about the different products Highboost offer, check out the link below. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.